Since we don't have a regular episode to post today, I would like to post a little tutorial about transferring digital to VHS because this is kind of a thing going on now where people are making their own VHS bootlegs and stuff like that from digital versions of the movie. And uh, when we did our release of the best of Frightfully Forgotten seasons one to seven on VHS and VHS Tales on VHS, which are still available, you can still buy them, the links will be in the description here. I had to tackle this issue, which I thought would be a super easy thing. You just buy a device that's going to convert digital back to analog RCA, and you're good. But there are some hurdles that I had to jump over. The first thing is you have to sift through a lot of devices which actually do the opposite of what you want to do, converting analog to digital. So like VHS to digital, to do a digital transfer. We don't want that, we want the opposite. And there's actually a lot less options. So if you're like me and you just kind of pulled the trigger on something, it ended up with something like this, you know, it's HDMI to RCA and it does do what I want it to do. It takes HDMI out of my laptop down to RCA into a VCR and hit record on the VCR and it goes on the VHS. Hunky dory, right? Well, not exactly because this item I bought actually takes the widescreen aspect ratio of like your laptop or computer or whatever and squeezes it to a full screen aspect ratio. It doesn't crop it the way I was hoping it would. So you got to be careful, read the description very carefully. And the problem is the descriptions of these items aren't great. It won't always tell you that it's going to be doing this, squeezing the aspect ratio. So this was a big dilemma for me. I didn't want our VHS to be some stupid squeezed version where we're all like skinny looking. I wanted it to look proper and I was hoping actually to have widescreen on VHS because then it would be, you know, the full aspect ratio of our show. And widescreen on VHS is not unheard of. They did release a lot of widescreen VHS. The purpose of this video is to tell you how to get over that stupid hurdle of these devices squeezing the image to fit full screen. So the first thing you'll need is VLC Media Player. Because in VLC Media Player, it can actually let you change the aspect ratio of your video and it'll either squeeze it or stretch it. So in this case, you want to take like a widescreen version movie, stretch it out to an aspect ratio of 2.39 to one. That'll stretch it enough that when it's converted down the pipe through this conversion device, squeezed back to its proper format. Now, if you're doing widescreen on VHS, this is perfect for you. This is all you need. But if you want a VHS that's going to be a standard full screen format, well then you have to take an extra step. Now you have to go into VLC Media Player and crop the video to a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. So now it's stretched and it's cropped. And now this will be a standard full screen version of a widescreen output, which may be fine for you. This might work for you if you're doing um, a transfer of a movie where it's all framed fairly center in the widescreen aspect ratio and all the credits are dead center, this will work. This is where you're gonna run into more obstacles because a lot of times if you're doing a transfer from a widescreen version of a movie to full screen VHS, the opening credits will often be, you know, on the left and then the next set will be on the right. And I mean like far left, far right. So. If you're cropped right down to center, it's gonna cut off all that text and it's gonna look stupid. And if you're doing a VHS transfer of a movie that's like really widescreen, like not just standard widescreen, but like super wide. Movies like, you know, Halloween, Halloween 2, even April Fool's Day, I did my own VHS bootleg transfer. That movie is super wide. So just cropping it is not gonna work. You'll actually at that point have to take the movie into some video editing software and reframe the whole movie, or at least most of the movie. Put the movie into your editing software, change the output of your video to a standard full screen aspect ratio. 
Then you have to go and re-crop almost every damn shot to make sure everything is in the center of the frame. If you're lucky, a lot of movies might actually already be kind of like centered so there's not much to do. But if you're re-editing a really wide movie, like you gotta re-edit everything. So then you gotta export that to a standard full screen aspect ratio. Re-stretch it using VLC Media Player to a 16 to 9 aspect ratio so that when it hits your conversion device, it's squeezed to a standard full screen and it doesn't look all stretched out. So if you're like me and you bought one of these devices that actually squeezes the widescreen movie into full screen and you don't want that stupid look, that's the way you kind of have to tackle it without buying another device. And honestly, the description on these devices aren't great, so you may have to like just be guessing and buying random ones hoping it's gonna work that's the way you have to solve the problem if you're getting your image squeezed into full screen. If you guys have any other questions about, you know, how to do these transfers, let me know. I'm not the expert on it. I'm just explaining some of the issues I ran into and how I was able to fix it using VLC Media Player because that's a very powerful program and it's free and it really solved my problem for me. If anyone else is into VHS bootlegging, I know at least one other Winnipegger that is, uh, please let me know in the comments. We can share some tips and tricks. And until next time, happy bootlegging.